Hi! Thank you so much for joining me for your March 2017 Written in the Stars Terrascope. My name is Madeline and I've been studying astrology and reading tarot for a little over 20 years and on this channel I do two readings per video. First, your Terrascope, a broad overview of the story that you're going to experience this month, and then my Fiercely Focused spread, which I do at the end of the video, which gives you a really specific theme for your month and some concrete action steps you can take to make the most of this March. So this month, the new New moon moves into Aries on the 28th of March, and that is considered the astrological new year. So this is a fantastic time to write down your intentions, write down your goals, and I'd really like you to keep that in mind as you go through your reading. What kind of seeds of intention would I like to plant as we leap forward into spring and into the new year? So I really hope you enjoy it and find it really empowering for your month. I would love to hear from you, so you know, like if you like it, subscribe if you want more, and please let me know what you think in the comments or on social media. I've linked all that stuff below if you're interested. I would love to hear from you. I really appreciate you joining me. I hope you have a great month. And without further ado, on to your March Terrascope. Hey, Cancer. So excited to see what's up for you in March 2017. That new moon in Aries really is going to be a really nice new beginning for a lot of us. So I'm excited to see I'm expecting, I mean, it's already been a few readings that there have been very powerful themes of transformation. So I'm excited to see what's going on for you, Cancer, in March 2017. Sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, March 2017. And Cancer, if you haven't seen one of my videos before, you will see me turn those cards that come in upside down, right side up. Um, that's because I'm an intuitive reader, so I do not read um, upside down cards as arbitrarily negative or muted. And I really only turn them right side up so that you yourself can see the imagery and so that your own intuition can speak to you in concert with what Spirit and I speak about during this video. I have gotten a couple questions about that before, so I just wanted to share that. Cancer. March. Wow. <clears throat> Cancer. March. 2017. Oh. Cancer. March. 2017. Cancer. March. Last one. Cancer. What does Cancer most need to know for their highest good in March 2017? Okay. All right, Cancer. Make sure you can see every character in the story before I start telling it to you. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Wow. Okay, so I feel like this is a really actually... This is a month of great productivity and change, and, and when I said transformation earlier, it's funny because you have the moon here, which is the card for transformation. Um, so yes, that Aries new moon is really pushing a lot of us forward in a big way. And for you, Cancer, you're doing a lot of growing. And I feel like it's a lot of growing in a short period of time, and that can be a little bit overwhelming because that's the other thing I'm seeing here is a little bit of limiting beliefs, a little bit of, oh my God, can I really go that far this fast? Um, I'm not sure I'm capable of that, all that kind of thing. But your, your cards, your guides, the spirit is saying, oh, you're ready. You have it. You have more than enough. You're going to do... The growing that you're doing is very conscious. It's very much chosen growing that you're doing, Cancer. So Spirit is congratulating you. You're going to be surrounded by loving support this month. The Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's like happy family, good friends, people joining up for um, to, to, to embrace one another, to share all of their love in a great big beautiful pool. So it's like some of you may be going to parties or reunions or seeing your family this month and just really like soaking in the love. But the other thing is Spirit is saying, this is us. Every one of us has a spiritual, you could think of it as a spiritual board of directors, Cancer. Um, the spiritual guides that have been with you since conception, the loved ones who have passed on, who choose to keep guiding you and being present in your life, some of them come in and out, 
some of them stay forever, but we all have a spiritual board of directors and yours are congratulating you, celebrating you, lifting their glasses to you for the willingness to approach this crossroads and make changes, to really shift the way things are going, to change the flow, to go with the ebb and flow of the tide. You're ruled by the moon, Cancer. You know that you have to change, that you have to adapt. And you have the beautiful um, dichotomy of the fact that, yes, you're ruled by the moon, so you are, um, you're very much in the flow. You very much, you have this this great em empathy and compassion and ability to read the energy in the room, the energy in people, the energy in the air. And therefore you're really good at going with the flow. But you're also a cardinal sign. So you're very much willing to take the lead. You're willing to take initiative to get things started, to get things rolling, and to say, I think if we do it this way, it could work out and really just try it. So again, Spirit is celebrating your courage and they want to encourage you to make the brave choice, is what they just said, at the crossroads. Which brings us to the limiting beliefs. So, let's go down here. <clears throat> These readings are not um, strictly chronological. Anyone who reads cards knows that certain, it's almost as if certain cards have been marked with a highlighter and they get marked one after another, like, this is where you need to go, this is where you need to go, this is where you need to go. And Spirit wants me to get into limiting beliefs and the power of expectations. Okay, so you care a lot, Cancer. You are, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you very much live in your emotions, ruled by the moon, the, the, the satellite representing our emotions, our changeability. Um, when you feel like you don't get something right, you feel pretty disappointed because you invest a lot in it. You invest your heart and soul into it. And what I want you to notice in the imagery of this card is that this man is kind of looking all forlornly. He may even be looking at that painting behind him with four perfect cups that are fountaining water out impossibly, while in front of him sits the sad reality of three overturned cups. And he's not even looking, but someone is pouring him a fresh new cup. While he's busy mourning the fact that his cups don't look like these cups, someone is pouring him something in real life. Nothing to worry or fantasize or fear about, something he can really pick up and sip from. So, Cancer, don't be so caught up in feeling like something does, doesn't or didn't work out the way that you wanted it to, um, and think that therefore it cannot be, or that it will not be good. So that's why Spirit is talking about expectations. The attachment to outcomes can ironically be the very thing that keeps you from reaching the outcome that you desire, Cancer. So it's like, if I am, um, okay, we'll go here. The Four of Pentacles. This guy is clearly royalty. He's got a crown, he's got a fortress, he's got all this lush kingdom around him, but for whatever reason, he's chosen to build his little fortress, and I do mean little, like right around him like a sandbox, like so tight that nothing new can come in. No people, no things, no nothing. So why? Why does this guy feel fearful of sharing everything that he has? Why does he want to make himself so small? What is it in you, Cancer, that is hoarding out of fear? Is it your money? Is it your talent and skills? What is it that you're afraid to let go of and how is that stopping you from getting what you really want? Okay, so I want to put it to you like this. I, I talk with my hands, Cancer, so here we go. Um, if I have four coins and I'm like this, like these are my four coins, oh my god, like I can't spend these, I can't let go of these, I probably shouldn't even show these to anybody because if I do, then I'll have nothing. What if I spend them and then nothing ever comes in again, so I better clutch these with everything that I have. What if you relaxed open and said, you know what universe, I trust in the wealth of everything. I trust that when I take the honorable risk of letting go, of attachment, of fear, of the desire to clutch what I want, 
I'm opening myself to the divine, beautiful, the energy that I'm meant to have, the energy that God, Spirit, the universe, whatever you want to call it, wants to give me. And they have an infinitely wider, deeper, more beautiful imagination, so they can come up with something that I'm really going to be thrilled by, something I can't even conceive of in this moment. So Cancer, Spirit doesn't want you to carry this heavy, this heavy burden. And the heavy burden is negative self-talk, it's limiting beliefs, it's, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much and the really important thing is, Spirit is setting these cards side by side because it's like the only thing, the only one forcing you to carry this burden is you, Cancer. If you ask anybody around you, they're probably going to tell you that Okay, anybody worthwhile around you that you ask is going to tell you they believe in you and that they think you're capable of exactly what you want and more. So believe that. Feed your folk, I'm sorry, feed your faith, not your fear. Focus on your faith, not your fear. What you what you focus on grows. And if you choose to focus on like, well, I've messed up before, or, well, this other person is already doing this and, and it's amazing, so if I tried to do it, blah, 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 blah. Like, if you ask yourself why it won't work, Cancer, you are very smart and you will come up with a shitload of reasons that it won't work. But what if you ask yourself how it could work? What if you ask yourself, what if I just try? And you just did. And you just broke through that initial, just the, the thin, thin, thin ice over the beautiful flowing body of water that is you. Like, break through that crab shell of yours, Cancer, and be everything that you are in March, because, like, now I'm going to move to these super amazing positive cards, because it's like, this is why they want you to break through the limiting beliefs and the burdens that you're carrying, that you don't need to carry, that you should set down and walk away from. Okay, so, here's you honing your craft in March. This is what you can do. Focus on yourself. Focus on making yourself the best that you can be. Let the situation coalesce and evolve. This is why Spirit was talking about, I'm gonna take the honorable risk, I'm gonna let go, and then I'm gonna do the work without the expectation. I'm gonna do the work and enjoy the process, and what expectation, I'm sorry, what outcome arrives is A, none of my business, and it's gonna be amazing. That is what you need to believe, Cancer. That is the, the emotion that you need to invoke because everything is energy. Like attracts like. And if you're saying, I'm doing this for the pure joy of the personal growth and development and the progress that I'm seeing and I love it every single day, the outcome, I guarantee you, will be far better than if your thoughts are, oh my God, I'm never going to get this. Oh my God, this is way too hard. Oh my God, this comes so much easier to other people. I should probably just stop. <laughs> okay? So, the beauty. The beauty doesn't stop, Cancer. Here's your ruling card, the chariot. This is one of this is one of the best cards in the deck. You have several of the best cards in the deck. I'm just gonna pick up all three of these guys because they, they want to be the kicker on your reading. The chariot is ultimate victory. The chariot is it's not that there's no opposition. It's that when I meet the challenges and opposition that are inevitable along my road because I have something that I want to achieve, I leverage them and I make my way even like I profit and use them to my advantage. Like I see what my, my, um, my contemporaries, my peers, even my challengers are doing and I learn from it and I do better because of it. The chariot is like be unstoppable. Be a force of momentum and nature and have that vulnerability that you have, that amazing power that you have to be vulnerable and say, I don't have to get it right. I know what I like, I know where I'm going. I don't have to know how it's going to happen. I know what I want. I'm going toward it. I'm doing the work. The outcome will take care of itself, but I'm going. I've made the decision, the honorable risk again, Spirit is saying. <sighs> Why should you do it? <laughs> Why should you trust that you have what it takes? Because you're the motherfucking magician, Cancer. Look at you. You have all four elements of the tarot floating above your head. He is a master, the magician is. He's a manifester. He brings what's just in his head right off, in, right into the earth. 
he is a I think therefore I am I believe therefore it is this guy this guy is running the show this is you cancer be a leader he's the number one he again you're a cardinal sign take the lead take the resources that you have and start bringing your idea into the world even if right now ooh, even if right now it's just writing down like this is what I would like it to become even if it's just here's um, a drawing of the set that I want to design here's here's where I would like my book to go start manifest write it down on paper make it earthly bring it out of your head stay in the head you're dead right that's what they say <clears throat> and finally <laughs> Why do I think that something amazing is coming for you when you're willing to let go of limiting beliefs, of burdensome thoughts that weigh you down instead of propelling you forward, of the idea that you really are not capable and therefore you should just stay where you are and it's better than nothing? Like it or not, the Wheel of Fortune is at play in your life in March and things are going to change and this is good. Change is good. This is positive change. This is momentum forward. This is like an echo of the chariot. You're heading good places, Cancer, especially when you take the reins, especially when you empower yourself to make changes, to grow, and to be willing to fall down once in a while while you're learning how to jump some hurdles. You're going to do amazingly, and the fall is not the end of your story. The get up and win anyway is going to be the amazing part. So don't give up. Don't stop, keep growing, keep going. And they were saying again, they want me to emphasize, make the brave choice. Now, let's look at your fiercely focused spread. Get theme for your month and some action steps for you, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. March. March. Ha! Look at that, Cancer. Same card, different deck. You're the magician. You're the magician. Focus on your power. Focus on what you want to accomplish as an individual. Focus on your creative abilities. Focus on your genius, your particular zone of genius. Your mind is infinite. If you can think of it, you can create it this month. So don't underestimate that. Really, like, what, what is it that you want? Take steps and see the magic that unfolds. When you put out the vibration of, I'm taking it up in my hands and I'm doing it, see what kind of returns you get. See what kind of interest that you get in response to that. Okay, now let's look at what physical or financial steps you should take this month. Build it. If you build it, they will come, Cancer. But seriously, it is a card of if you build the foundation, if you make it strong and steady from step one, then you will build an amazing cathedral. You have everything that you need, and Spirit is saying that you could even bring in a couple of teammates in March. So if you've been needing some outside expertise or you feel like you would benefit from that, you are going to be able, you're in a position, many of you, these are general readings, Cancer, of course, so some of these messages will resonate more than others, but some of you have the opportunity to really make an ideal team. Um, I'm feeling like it's kind of like three-part harmony, because I feel like the three is really important. Um, so I feel like it's either a couple of partners or people coming in and doing supporting roles that help you complete the whole picture, okay? Okay, now let's look at what you're thinking about, speaking about, what's on your mind in March 2017. Okay, a little bit of heartache, heartbreak, a sense of loss, and this could be why so many of you are afraid to make the brave decision. I feel, and okay, Spirit just said, for many of you, this is a recollection of a heartbreak, like there, this is a significant date or something occurred around this time that is heartbreaking. So for some of you, this is an old echo. It's an echo of old pain. And for some of you, this is the sting of a fresh shock. Um, 
Cancer, if you want to know um, more about this, if you want to get more deep and intimate about it, I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. My shop is linked below. But what I can say in general is that Spirit is saying this is part of why they want you to focus on your gifts. Because for those of you who are going through this heartbreak or are recalling a heartbreak and it's, it's washing over you in such a powerful way that it's like it's threatening to sidetrack you, focus on what's working. Focus on what you love. Focus on what you can create, not what you have been, what has been taken from you, and you will bring more of that into your life. Like attracts like. Notice what is amazing. Notice what is wonderful to you. Notice what you've done and how far you've come, and keep that at the front of your mind. Okay. And now let's look at oh, what's lighting you on fire in March 2017. Wow. Okay. So defend yourself and the magician is a genius and a rebel he's he's kind of the Aquarius of the tarot like very offbeat very like to the point where he may be so ahead of his time that other people think he's strange so this month cancer you're gonna be a little bit again of a genius and other people may not always understand how you feel where you're coming from but you have the higher ground you have the ability and the knowledge and the willpower to defend yourself from uh, outside influences and opposition. And again, this reminds me and echoes that chariot card. Like, the, I, I will eventually collect the weapons of my enemies. I will make the challenges I face into advantages for me. I will leverage the competition and that's how I win. So again, they're saying pay attention to your competitors only in the sense of uh-huh, I see what, what is not working so well here. I'm not going to make that mistake. Okay, Cancer? <clears throat> okay. So now, finally, let's look at what's going on with you emotionally. What are you feeling? How are you relating in March 2017, Cancer? Uh-huh, uh -huh. No. I grabbed wands again, but spirit never makes a mistake. So I'm going to reinterpret this with the added harmony. That's funny because we said three part harmony earlier. I'm going to. Wow. Okay. The King of Wands is a powerful character, and he's actually very related to the magician, so I'm really not surprised to see this. You'll notice the magician is, is carrying a wand. Um, alchemy. When you leverage these enemies, this opposition, oh my gosh, like so many of you are going to be taking the lead in a creative endeavor and researching and knowing what you're up against or who has come before you is really going to benefit you. But also they want you to remember that in looking at what other people are doing and in modeling and in defending it, um, don't become caught up in it. Always remember that you're the leader and you're the innovator and you don't want to get caught up in, um, like, you don't want to unconsciously uh, imitate someone because, you, you know, you're, you're trying to emulate them and then it ends up being something else. You don't want that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, take the lead. You have the charisma, the confidence, and the creativity to do this, Cancer. And it, it, when I see the King of Wands here, it makes me want to say these people you're defending against, they really, they're not even competition. Like, you're so far ahead of the game, and that's why you have the higher ground here. Okay. So now, let's see what you'll be feeling and how you'll be relating in March 2017. Aww. This has been a theme for you, Cancer. Um, partnership. So, yes, this month is the month to focus on yourself and your skills, but there is still that partnership that's either coalescing or it has been like a steady support. And it's funny because we talked about three-part harmony. Here's you and here's two other people. Who are you working with, Cancer? Who is this? Is this you and a partner or is this you and two other people? I would love to hear from you in the comments if you know what this, this three-part dynamic is for you. For some of you Cancers, there is the blooming and blossoming of a partnership. And I do feel that for many of you this is romantic. And it may even be shocking for some of you because it's coming on the heels of this heartache. 
or it could be that this heartache is the limiting one of the limiting beliefs that is keeping you from wanting to move forward with this. And again, Spirit is saying, saying, make the brave decision. Being vulnerable is a hell of a lot better than being safe and stagnant. So see what the possibilities are. Stay in your magic, Cancer. Remember that you're the magician. Remember and say it every day that you wake up. I'm the magician. I create my life. <laughs> I think it's going to be a magical march. No pun intended. Okay, it was kind of intended. I really appreciate you watching, Cancer. I'd love to hear from you, whether it's in the comments or on social media. And um, I hope that you have a really wonderful month. And I hope to see you in April. Hope this helps. I'll see you later, Cancer.